Well, I came home today to find a box that I've been anxiously awaiting, and that is my GORUCK. Uh, this is the GR1. Uh, you can see here, this is a product that is made in America. I used to have a Rush 12, and I sold that Rush 12 to purchase this pack. Um, knife I'm using today. That's always something I show off. This is my Elderberry Jigbone GEC 78 two blade pattern. Um, I've got my Orient, um, the name escapes me, my Orient watch on today. It's an automatic. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to switch from my Rush 12 because I've been trying to switch over to more uh, American products, American made products. If you want to know my opinion on that or know why, you can check out my video a couple of videos back and I'll link it below on my opinion on buying American. <clears throat> um, so I had been, I had known about GORUCK for several years, but unfortunately I didn't think it was a pack that appealed to someone like me who didn't necessarily need something outdoorsy, so to speak. But after doing some research, found that this pack was gonna be very uh, beneficial to me and would fit my needs. Um, uh, this is a bumper sticker. And I decided to go ahead and sell a few items and buy this bag. So I bought this, this version. This is the, um, matter of fact, I can show you. This is the Wolf Gray GR1 with curved straps. Um, I chose this version simply because it was a 21 liter. I wanted something that wasn't gonna be too, too big. This is just a very good everyday carry bag, but I wanted something that um, was gonna be durable and I could use for years to come. Um, the curved strap model was the only model available. I know some people have complained that the straps are thinner on this, and I believe they're thinner this way as well with the padding, but I don't plan on loading this bag down. This is gonna be an everyday carry bag for me. I'm gonna carry a laptop, some papers, some files, some things like that. So um, back to the company. The company is veteran owned. Uh, it employs veterans. I actually, and, and all credit to our servicemen and women, I do not qualify for that portion of the discount, but they have a discount for civil servants and I did qualify for that discount. So I was actually even able to get a 25% discount off of this bag. Um, very impressed with that. They have a lifetime warranty. They sew these in-house, so these are not mass produced uh, somewhere else and then they just get them in and stock them and ship them out. They actually make these bags with humans and sewing machines. So that was another selling point. Also because they actually make these bags and they have the sewing machines, if you have an issue with this bag, you send it in for the lifetime of the bag and they'll fix it for you. They also um, love for you to tell your story of how it got damaged. So I thought that was another interesting thing about this company. So all in all, it, I was sold on this bag once I realized the benefit of the company and the product. Um, definitely liked it. I don't necessarily... Um, I would have liked the regular GR1, and actually what I'm thinking is I'm going to pick up a GR2 and a 34 liter to travel with, but this will be a good everyday carry bag. Um, let's see what else I could talk about. Um, there, if you're not familiar with the pack, there is a quote-unquote bomb-proof laptop compartment in the back here, and that is pretty stiff. Uh, my understanding is these bags are pretty stiff overall until you break them in. There is only one large compartment here in the front. And the bag has two zippers that zip all the way around. And the bag opens up um, clamshell style. So, And I'm not doing a great job of showing you all this, but the bag will lay all the way down. Um, let's see. It's just, it's a little bit stiff right now, like I said. So it will, it'll lay all the way down. There is another little compartment here. And from my understanding, this is a compartment where um, you would put your, your weight in. They do sell weights. Um, or you could put your weight in here because this is designed to actually ruck with or, or hike and carry weight. There are, I believe, three, three strips of Molly 
here and you can connect different types of items. I'm gonna do something more along this line. I'm gonna use it to, to put pins and items like that in it this way and then I can put my files and if I need a pin or something, I can just pull it right out. Um, there are two pockets on the front side of the bag. There's one small pocket here that's about a third of the bag and then there's a larger mesh pocket here that is about two thirds of the bag. And then there's just another slash pocket on the front of the bag that runs pretty much the uh, majority of the bag in the front. Um, all of these are YKK zippers, very high quality. Um, there's heat shrink tubing and paracord to pull so they're silent. The zippers themselves are water resistant. And like I said, the bag is new. Um, they're water resistant. They're not fully shrouded, but they are water resistant. The material is uh, 1000 Kadura, D Kadura, and that's um, also water resistant. There are three strips of Molly on the side here, three strips of Molly on the front. So if you wanted to attach something to the front of the pack, you could do so. Um, I don't believe I'll be doing that, or actually I will. I'll be putting, I have some steel flame Molly clips. I'll be putting on there, but I won't be attaching a pack or anything like that. So this is just a, for me, just a good, smaller, general size carry bag. So I, I, I like it. Um, honestly, it's a little bit smaller in, in this dimension than I thought, but that's fine. It's going to carry everything that I would want to carry. Uh, it's plenty tough. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the product. I would go check Go Ruck out. Like I said, American company, they sold the bags at their own factory. They fix them at their own factory. They employ veterans. They're, it's veteran owned. Um, vet, and this is actually a product, the brainchild of a veteran. So um, just, just a very, very good company with uh, very good build quality and just a very good solid business structure. So I definitely suggest you give them a look, check it out. They are a little bit expensive, um, but I think what you'll find is any, any of the bags that you're looking for to buy in this kind of a category are gonna be in that $200 price range. And like I said, with my 25% discount, this bag out the door was $221.50, I believe. Don't quote me on the change, but it was close to that. So. I'll follow up after I've gotten some use, but initial impressions, I'm very impressed. It's a little bit stiff. It's a little bit shorter um, in this dimension than I thought it was going to be. I believe the website says it's 20 inches high, but um, overall, I like the bag a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And even though this isn't a knife video, you know this is a knife channel, so you know what I'm going to say. A lazy man carries a dull knife.